I heard or read once a byline that said, Starhawk, nice Jewish girl, grew up to be a witch. <laughs> <laughs> Can you fill in that timeline and tell us a little bit about you know, what your Jewish heritage means to you today, how it applies to your spirituality? Yeah, I was raised um, in a family where my grandparents were Orthodox and my parents were sort of the generation that rebelled. Um, but I wanted to go to Hebrew school from the time I was very young and I was very interested in all those questions around religion. And so I did, I had a very good Hebrew education uh, in mostly conservative uh, schools. Mm -hmm. uh, I went on to the University of Judaism uh, after school while I was still in high school. I was bat mitzvah. Mm -hmm. And it was, and it's still very much, I think, part of who I am and part of my ancestry and my heritage uh, to draw on that really, really rich Jewish tradition. Mm -hmm. um, but as I got into high school, it was the 60s, there was all this excitement about new ideas and new age thinking and Eastern religions. And I started exploring other paths. And I also felt like my own real spiritual experiences were not really happening in synagogue. They were happening mm -hmm. on the beach in the moonlight or hiking in the woods or outside in nature. So when I was in my first year of the university at UCLA, I had an anthropology course and we were encouraged to do our own creative project. Uh, so mm -hmm. my friend and I decided to research witches and we met all kinds of people in the process of doing this, including some people who came in and started telling us that they were actually part of this secret spiritual tradition that had survived underground since the time of the witch persecutions that went back before Christianity in Europe, that went back in the Middle East before the more patriarchal aspects of Judaism and that was really about the worship of nature. And you were excited about I this. I was, you know, it was so romantic, <laughs> you know. And I, yeah, I was thrilled. I was taken by it and started reading and researching and just really felt so drawn and so connected. Mm -hmm. Part of it, I think, what I was drawn to was that in Judaism and yoga and Buddhism and all these other traditions, especially at that time, all the leadership was male. There was no real place for a woman except to be a wife or a mother or a Hebrew school teacher or, you know, run the Hadassah, the woman's auxiliary. Right. And here was a tradition that says, no, you can be a woman and you can be a leader. You can be responsible, you can be creative, uh, you can develop all of who you are, and we will support you in that. Hi, I'm Starhawk. You're watching TV for your soul.